Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna run some speed tests on the Euro Max 7, so I'll click run while I'm talking about it. So essentially, I have the Euro Max 7 right here. It is wirelessly talking to the other Euro Max 7. That's the main router. This one, as you guys can see, only power is hooked up to it. So this guy is in a wireless backhaul configuration. Now the, the speed test is running on my Mac mini with the M2 Pro chip that has a 10 gig card. And I want to show you guys the differences between hooking up something via wireless to a wireless backhaul node or hooking up the same exact thing via ethernet to a wireless backhaul node. So we ran the internet speed test. We got 1240 down, 762 up. Now my internet speeds are much faster than this. It's five gigs up and down, so much faster than that. But I'm gonna hook up the same exact thing to one of the 10 gig ports on this. Again, this is a CAD7 cable, supports 10 gigs. There's 10 gig ports on the Euro Max 7, and this is on a 10 gig port. And just for kicks, I will turn off the Wi-Fi right here. And we're gonna run the same speed test. And then after I run the speed test, we'll do a local speed test between this computer and my other computer. So you guys could see instantly it jumped from, uh, what was it, 1200 down to 3300 down. So not quite triple the speeds, but I mean getting close to triple the speeds. And uh, I forget what the upload was, but this is probably at least triple, if not quadruple the speeds of the upload. So uh, a huge difference. So the, the whole point of this is that even if you're hooked up via wireless backhaul, it's still really useful to hook up devices via ethernet, even to a wireless backhaul node. Now I'm going to do, I have my Windows computer uh, in the other room, it's, it has the open speed test server hooked up and open speed test server is awesome by the way. I use this thing for all my uh, local speed tests, super easy to use and everything, it's just awesome. But now the tests I ran before were internet speed tests, this is a local speed test. So this is now uncapped, um, it doesn't depend on my ISP which is capped to 5 gigs up and down and it's not capped to the public speed test server. So. This thing is basically capped by really its own speeds or up to 10 gigabits um, because it has 10 gig ports and everything throughout my home is 10 gig ready. Uh, but as you guys could see, it, it wasn't actually much faster. In the, I mean, it was a little bit faster. Actually, was that even faster? Oh yeah, it was a little bit faster. 33 was that, 36. Uh, the upload was actually a bigger difference. Not huge, so 2800 to 3500 upload. Um, so local speed test typically give more consistent and typically better speeds. But with the Eero Max 7, what I've noticed, and I've done a full review on it, but what I've noticed is even when I'm hooked up via ethernet to it, and not just like this, but literally hooked up via ethernet to the main router that's hooked up via ethernet to my ONT, which is uh, basically like a modem for fiber, uh, ONT standing for optical network terminal, uh, but when I do a speed test with that, even then I still can't get five gigs. So there is, I think there's something wrong um, right now with the Eero that I think will get uh, fixed with a firmware update because it can go faster. But actually as of now, it is kind of slower compared to the other Wi-Fi 7 systems. And I will be doing a full-on comparison between this, the, the Deco B85. Uh, BE85 and the Orbi 970. So subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. But generally speaking, uh, the Eero Max 7 is honestly, it's a fantastic router. Uh, it's just keep in mind that if you have, you know, five gig internet speeds or faster, it's from what I've seen from the testing I've done, uh, even straight up hooked up via ethernet to a non-wireless backhaul node, I still, I mean, I got very close to the, to the download speeds of that, but I couldn't get super close with the upload speed. So it wasn't quite there. And I talk about this in my full review that I've already posted. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, smash the subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below.